Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. So um, yeah, I finally finished my um, my orchestral suite for the ES2. Uh, as many of you uh, already know, I put my Korg Electribe with the OS hack up on eBay. Um, the listing is in the description of this video. Thing is that um, I don't really plan on not having one. I just have an opportunity to get myself an Octatrack for cheap. So I really want to uh, get this thing out the door and get my Octatrack. And then basically I'll probably go to Zounds or something and uh, do their pay as you play and whatnot and um, invest in another unit. But while it's gone, I wanted to get some stuff finished up. So uh, one of the things that I had started um, a while back was that I was creating an orchestral suite for the machine. Now, due to the limitations with polyphony, the envelopes and everything, it's kind of unrealistic to do an orchestral suite for the Electribe sampler, but I have accomplished just that thing. Now, um, there's multi-samples, right? I've, I've got multi-samples in this kit of uh, pretty much every orchestral instrument except for percussion. I think there's uh, plenty of percussion out there. You can get all the orchestral percussion for pretty uh, cheap anywhere else. And so I didn't include that. Um, you have alto flutes and flutes, basses, bass clarinet, bass trombone, bassoon, cello, clarinet, contrabassoon, uh, cor anglaise, which is the only um, samples that are not tuned to C because a cor anglaise, uh, by definition, um, is supposed to um, be one fifth uh, above or, or I can't remember exactly how it works but it's it's not uh, it's it's one fifth above C which I, I think is G um, so uh, it's got flutes and French horns and harps and oboes and pianos and piccolos and violins and uh, tenor trombone let me look here and see actually what else we got we got trumpets and tubas and violins and, vi and violas thing is is that we have um, multi samples in each folder of different timbers of the instrument okay now because of the Korg is not um, is not an instrument that will use a multi sample very um, efficiently these samples are not um, not really traditionally multi samples where you uh, sample every three notes or whatever what they are is they're they're um, kind of recorded in C or they're always recorded in C I tune them to C okay and uh, they're kind of just different timbers of the same instrument within the octave that they usually are played in right so uh, the tuba ones are really low and the uh, and the you know violin ones are really high and the flutes and whatnot so that's how that works another thing is is that we're applicable um, there's pizzicatos in here there's sustains and staccatos right there's all different types of like inflections okay the thing is is when they're sustained notes I have looped them okay now, I did not find a proper loop point for all of them, okay? What I did is I just looped the whole thing. The reason why is because there's a, a good extension of note in this, right? And uh, what uh, I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that the envelopes in the Electribe treated it like a loop so that you can hold it down for as long as you want, and when you release your finger, it will stop playing, all right? It's kind of a huge flaw in the machine to have to deal with that kind of crap, but uh, if you want to find loop points for most of these uh, instruments, you can. I have done it. It's just uh, I didn't... I want to be able to sell this thing for 30 bucks, and I don't want to sell it for 130 and to go through every single one of these... Um, one of these samples and finding a, a good smooth loop point would have taken hours upon hours upon hours as it is it already took me 30 hours to put this thing together and um how i uh, here's how i, I price my um sets out actually is um i figure that you know people are fighting for 15 dollar minimum wage 15 dollars is nothing for a wage i haven't worked for 15 dollars in my adult life right and um, basically, this thing th took 30 hours. And so what, what I do is I basically give myself $10 an hour uh, because t uh, people usually, I, I sell about 10 um, some of the cheaper ones I sell more of, you know, um, sets, but usually the, the average is about 10 so uh, $300. And then I add... Um, another 10% or 11% because of eBay fees. So it's a, it's a pain, but you know, uh, I really don't get paid much for this. Uh, it's just uh, something that, you know, to try to, uh, to buy more gear. That, that's pretty much what it is. So uh, another thing about these samples is that they are stereo, as you can see. <laughs> As you can hear, that's also in monophonic. I don't like that paraphony, so uh, I sometimes I have to wash this thing out with effects to make it sound okay. 
Um, anyway, they're stereo because I think that orchestral instruments need to be stereo. If you don't like them, then um, the waves are included in the set when you purchase it. Throw them into the sample editor and convert them to mono. No big deal. Um, okay, so I'm just going to play a little bit of this. Everything that you're going to hear is from the uh, from either the internal waves of the machine, which all the percussion was created with the synth waves, and um, you're going to hear some of this stuff in the set, but the set is actually massive. And, and actually, uh, over the next day or so, because this is going to be gone soon, um, even if it's only going to be gone for a couple of weeks, I want to basically play around with it quite a bit. Um, I'm kind of feeling, feeling it. Oh, you know what else is? Uh, I have this rack full of uh, these compressors. They are um, Yamaha sidechain compressors and limiters. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these for 95 bucks, hit me up and I'll uh, I'll sell you one of those too. Anyway, love you guys. Uh, I'm gonna play some music now, and um, you can see all uh, relevant links in the. Um, the description of this video, including my snow metal uh, page on SoundCloud and on Facebook, and uh, both this um, this orchestral suite on eBay, the listing for the machine on eBay, and probably the 699 breaks um, also listing on eBay, which I, I've lowered the price of a little bit. I've sold a few, but uh, I really want to smash those out. So I love you guys. Uh, we got massive snow here, which is awesome. But uh, anyway, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>